Scorpio. Yeah, let's go. All right. Um, I'm going to pull it up here on the screen as well. It's um, where he gets into the fight. Okay. Mm. From this whole saga that went down. Yeah. It was like a lot of like wild ups and downs that went on in that shit, including him. Like, remember when he did the interview and he's like, yo, Vlad, I shed blood in the Nike store. <laughs> you remember that, that clip that was going viral? Yeah. he's a Right. He he re-explains like what happened in that situation. If that was the case, because let's not put that on Nikki. Yeah, that wasn't I didn't even really capitalize. And then I'm like, all right, and he just does like a quick turnaround, I'm like us. So this like is he's those. explaining mm -hmm. how and when him and me. So I'm thinking we. He's explaining how when him and Meek bucked at the at the, the Nike store. Yeah. He said he was outside. He seen bare paparazzi and he was like, oh, who's out here? And then he seen Meek and he said he locked eyes Damn and he went inside of the, the Nike store. OK. And then the man's then followed him, the dream chasers and Meek. And then Meek said what he had to say to him. And then boom. Good. And um, and then his man's came back in with the camera. I found out. I don't know how true this is, but I'm, I found out that that, that was a Nicki Minaj call. Oh. And if that's the case, Nicki, Nicki, then Nicki sent the camera. Do the no, camera that when they when they evaluate when Nicki evaluated, you not a street dude, you not on that street shit. And they did. I heard when they went back to the car, mm -hmm. yeah, it was Nicki that was like, nah, run that. Listen. <laughs> Jeez. I'm a Nicki yeah, fan, bro. I always was a Nicki fan. My <laughs> daughter's a run down fan. president of the bar. That was fucked up, man. That was fucked up. But do you know it's a fact, though, or is this? If that was the case, because let's not put that on Nicki. That wasn't put that on her jacket. If that was these niggas, it's like whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I'm a bar, I'm a barb, yo, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a barb. Remember, drama was like Nicki did something wrong, but drama wasn't there either. What was he talking about? Hold on, hold on. I think I got a sound effect for that. I, I, my sound effects are all over the fucking place, but I'll find it later. I'll find it later. An x fall sound needs to be popping in right now. Man them. What do y'all think? Is Nick oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. Nikki the goon? Nikki yeah. the goon. The goon whisperer? <laughs> goon ba. Oh, hey. She's a, Run that. She's a goon ba. Yo. She's a real fucking. She's spooky, man. If this is true. Yeah. If this is true. I think it's true. I can see that. I can see, I can see it being like, yo, run that. <laughs> yeah. The man has to. Run that. The man Just the way he to. said it. Yeah, the man has to. It sounded like she would have, the way that she would have said yeah. it, like in a, in a patois way, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yo, run that. Yo, run that. She, me comes back to the to the fucking limo. He's like, son. So, so what? Man didn't, didn't do nothing? No, we let him go. Yo, he in the street, nigga. Yeah. You oh, what kind of pum pum? Yo, run that. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, get out of the car. Yo, She's like, you're running that safari. <laughs> safari yeah, would have run that. So, Y'all were saying Safari. I come like say, oh yes, yeah, Safari. Yo, yo. Safari would have ate his food. Yeah. Oh. Have them all hyped up there at the night. They're going back there arguing back at the hotel. He is trashing the place. Yeah. Off. He's trying to be a bad man. She's slapping him, breaking nails off his. Yo, face. Safari would have ate that. Yeah. What are you doing back in the car with nothing on your knuckles, my yeah. guy? She, yo, that's the thing. She would have made him feel like a little boy. Yeah. Wow, I wonder, yo. I, so, and that's a thing. He, and this he, is all alleged, okay? Let's put this in the alleged no, category. It, no, it's not alleged. It's for real. He didn't beat him up. Quentin would have been like, yo, nigga. No, no, no. The like, Nikki, the Nikki goon thing because. Oh, she's a goon, bro. Like, the man said, this is what the man feels like, fam. He's yeah. like, yo, I'm a Nikki fan. And, and she called she the called, thing, bro. She called shots on him. Like a real shatter. <laughs> oh, there's one thing I left out of this. Yeah. Okay, and once again, big up to Rory and Maul on this fucking interview, okay? Yeah, big up, big up, big up, big up. He explained that once the secret was out of the bag, yeah. that he wrote the 10 bands, yeah. Meek was pressuring him. Send me something, bro. Mm. So what? No, it wasn't 10 bands. It was when Rico, when Rico finally came out, mm -hmm. right? He found out that like, man handled Rico for him too. Yeah. Okay. Cause when he did Rico, he said he was sending Drake bare tunes yeah. and the, and shit went cold. cold. Nigga stopped fucking 
he, he stopped responding, like not responding, but like using his tunes. Yeah. And then he sent Rico and he was like, ah, this nigga's not gonna use this trash. Yeah. And he used it. And he used it. Right? And it, it ended up being the tune with Meek. So now Meek is in the mix. Mm -hmm. And Meek is like, yo fam, this is your guy? Or, yeah. you know, I guess he found out from drama, this is yeah. his guy? Yeah, yeah. Send this guy, yo, yeah. I want some verses too. That guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's not jump on fucking Drake's head all the fucking time. Yeah. Cause Meek was like, yo, that's your writer. Can I get some verses yeah. too? Uh, but yeah, is, exactly. is that the, at the time when they were beefing or when they fell into This is before the beef started. Before the beef started. So that's when he started calling him out for ghostwriting. Like, yo, the that's man. When, yo, remember Meek was saying he doesn't write his shit. Yes, yes. yes. But look, he was using one too. Yes. And Quentin curbed him. He said, nah, nah, because he felt so up. He's like, I'm with the oh, boy already. Oh, I don't need anything so else. I'm already at the top of the mountain. So that's when he went to Tory Lanez. Meek Mills went over to Tory Lanez. Remember he, he was right? Bro. That's bro. When, that's when him and Tory. And, and he said that Nicki was in the studio the time when he was summoned to the fucking drama. He went to go see drama. And Nikki and Thing were in the studio and they were like talking about him like as if he wasn't in the room. They're like, yo, that's the guy. And then Meek asked him, that's when Meek first asked him, yo, so what, can I, I can't get no verses too? <laughs> yo, it sounds like it's like dope. <laughs> right? Like, yo, like, yo you got that fire, bro. Bro, I can't get some. Yo, you, that's what you gave the boy? Can I get some? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And the man, like, it is like drugs, they're chasing the hits. Yes, yeah. the hits. And then they find a little young boy, like they're little fucking oh. They're weirdos. It's like right. it's it gets weird after a little. No, bit. it gets weirder it because gets he weirder. said no, and then he approached him again, again. And yeah. asked him, and he said, "Yo, I got a bag for you oh, now, wow. bro." So it gets weird. Do you He's... want? Can you want? Take the bag. I, I need some verses for verses. me, and he still curbed him. It gets weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like they're chasing it. Chasing it. Three chasing. chasers. Yeah, they're chasing man. So it's not just Drake that was, like Drake is the only one who got some verses from this guy. Yeah. Right at the yeah. time, yeah. But it wasn't. He wasn't the only one who wanted verses from him, because he they, revealed in this interview yeah, that Meek he, wanted some verses from him too. Yeah. Nikki was there. She seemed to, like. The, I guess they both talked about it. Like, yo, yeah. yo, sit, get this guy in our studio. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And then because he curbed them twice, they caught feelings. Mm -hmm. Then when everything got exposed, and maybe that's part of the reason why she got exposed. Cause he's like, yo, you giving this nigga some fire, but I can't get none. Yo, this nigga got writers. Mm -hmm. Over. Right? Over. And that's the thing. He's a, but he was still getting writers too. So you're just revealing yourself. Yo, cause if he wanted something from Quentin. Yeah. Who has he already used? That's what I'm saying. When I'm telling you, he then was probably already using wink, wink. Tory Lanez. Ooh. He came over to Canada. That we got some hot pens up here, eh? No, because he figured it out, my guy. He's like, that's what's going on over there in Canada? All right. And he was already going to double cross Drake anyways. Yeah. Because remember, he fucking a cash money princess, the queen. Yeah. So he's like, fuck them niggas. He then he probably on his perks, beating her up, they fighting and shit. She kicking his ass, all types of shit, making mm -hmm. Nikki shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot, there's a lot in between that, mm -hmm. that where shit starts getting revealed. How the fuck we find out that? How the fuck we find out that uh, Tory Lanez was writing for me? Remember, to, I'm not trying to be, be all like, like I love Tory, but <laughs> I know, I'm sure, I know for sure that. Tory, when he was up, when he everybody thought he had beef with Drake, mm. and in your case, supposedly when he went at Drake, mm -hmm. but obviously behind the scenes, there's you know you gotta love Drake, right? So even if he was just staying separate and doing what he had to do, he's he, somehow he got up in the twist too. Somehow he gets up in the twist too because he's, you know what I mean, writing for other people those times, mm. right? He's writing for other people. So that's how he gets up in the twist. So now yeah, Nikki crazy. already knew that this little scheming ass little nigga named Meek is motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Using Tory Lanez to write shit because he couldn't get Quentin. It's, that's crazy. Quentin brushed him off. So what do you do? You go to where them niggas is from. Yeah. Because he was probably even thinking in his head, yo, 
he probably all high as shit thinking like Tory writing for even Drake. Yeah. When he started, it's good. When not started, even knowing the man's don't even fuck with each, uh, fucking with each other at the time. With each other at the time. So that's yeah. why he went and did that. That's why he went and did that. Yo, oh, what a tangle web we weave, eh? Right? Holy. That's why he went and did that. This ain't no conspiracy theory. I just see that's what it looks like. That's crazy. Yo, this Fated interview right here is going to be an important interview in like the whole hip hop like history, eh? Like, I don't know. This is like, this is very early. Like, yeah. right now it dropped today, today while we're doing this live, like maybe a few hours ago, mm -hmm. right? But it's going to have a ripple effect. Of course. Yeah. Because this nigga's dropped some fucking bombshells right. in this interview that I was like, uh. and nobody heard from Quentin for mad no. years, bro. So this is when Tori can come out too and be like, well, I was writing for me instead. <laughs> Ooh, that would be crazy. Because that Quentin kept crazy. brushing him off, dog. He's got fam, like little, little skelly wags. They just jump boom, 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 because they know where the writers is at. Yo, fam, just the fact that Meek was like, yo, send on, fam. Can't I get some verses too? Yeah. And we're, everybody hails Meek as, yo, he's the battle rapper. Yeah. He's the guy. But he wanted some ghost written verses too. Yeah, he needed a hit. He needed a hit. You got street hits. You know what yo. I mean? That still go platinum and shit. But like, you get what I'm saying? Like international Jeez. shit. Stupid, dirty, fam. Yo, listen, fam. I, I I just wanted to make that something Clear. in the air, in okay? The air, but... Because I want to jump on this early, early. Because the tomorrow by tomorrow there's gonna be like ten it's YouTube a... clips about this shit. Of course, uh, and the ripple effect is gonna bounce around to Tory Lanez, uh, yeah. Tim Mill. Like these guys are gonna be talked about because behind the scenes they're writing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And now it comes out. Who mm -hmm. they're writing for. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It will come out. Who's been writing for who? Again. Yeah. Again. Again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. If Quentin was smart, he'd write, he would just put out his own music. And, he has been trying to put I out know, his own music. Ain't nobody work. listening to it. And, and nobody listening to it because he tried to come up off of the on the bag in a scheming way. Yeah. In a sense, right? You should have shut your mouth in a sense. But now he's coming out, so yeah. Now, he, now, the, now that he has all this, he well, it's coming because yeah. Right now we're in real time. Yeah. So the buzz is not out there yet. It's not out there yet. But the buzz that's going to be coming from tomorrow and moving on, it's going to have. A he ripple. could capitalize off of that and drop some tunes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and if they're good, people will receive it. Yeah. They have to be good though. Yeah, they have to be. They good. have to be good. They have to be really good. 